Hello, this is Frank from MPG Unlimited, and I am bringing you our first standard deck tech. Today, we will be viewing a Rakdos aggro deck for Journey to Nick Standard. So, as you can see with all the cards laid out, this deck focuses primarily on creatures rather than spells as a primary aggressive focus. However, there are several spells thrown in to help complement the creature base. So, let's get into the cards here. Up first, you can see Rakdos Cackler. It's our first one-drop creature. It's a 1-1 one -one with Unleash. You're going to be unleashing this creature pretty much the, all the time in your matches because you're really generally going to want a 2-2 two -two swinging on turn 2 rather than a 1-1. A one -one. Generally, you're not going to be blocking considering that you're trying to win the game in the first four turns of the game. So this creature is a very good creature for this deck. It's a great one-drop, and I highly recommend playing it as a 4 of. Up next, you can see our next card, Farika's Chosen. It's our other one-drop creature. It's a 1-1 one -one with Death Touch. This creature isn't as good as Rakdos Cackler, but it's generally good because it's got Death Touch, so your opponents aren't going to want to swing in with their big creatures because of your Death Touch and their creatures will die instantly. It's a good chump blocker against decks, and it's also a target for control decks. I would highly recommend this card as a 4 of. Also as a turn 1 alternative to Rakdos Cackler, because you're going to want to be getting out as many creatures as possible in the early turns. Up next, you'll see our first spell. It's Titan Strength. It says a target creature gets plus 3 plus 1 until end of turn, and you get to scry. This card is great for pumping your creatures on turn 2. Swinging with a Rakdos Cackler and a Titan Strength on turn 2, just 5 damage right out of the gate. It also lets you scry into your draws and sets you up for the rest of the game, because if you scry and you see something that you don't want, you get to put it on the bottom and draw into cards that you need to win the game quickly. This spell is very good for the deck and I would highly recommend it playing it as a 4 of because it is so good for this deck. Up next you'll see our newest addition from Journey into Nyx. It's Blinding Flare and it has Strive. It prevents their creatures from blocking which really helps get your damage through especially when you're pumping creatures with Titan Strength. It's a great combination for this deck with your creatures and your Titan Strength because you can make all their creatures so they can't block and swing for lethal, possibly, or get them closer to zero. This card is only a two of because it's fairly inconsistent and most of the time they're going to have either removal for your creatures like Azorius Charm or Mizium Mortars or they're just going to have too many blockers for you to handle. The next card you'll see is Dyna Charge gives all your creatures plus 2 plus 0. I generally use this card just for the overload because as just a one drop it's not very good but when you overload it and swing with three or four creatures on the later turns you're, it's just going to be unstoppable. Your opponents won't be able to block and you'll get a ton of damage through hopefully killing them but if not bringing them even closer to zero. However I only have it as a one of in the deck just because it's fairly inconsistent and most of the time again your creatures are going to get bounced with Azorius Charm or burned by other decks so generally it's not great it can easily get countered in the later turns so that's the only reason I have it as a one of in here. The next card you'll see is our first burn spell in the deck it's Shock. It deals two damage to target creature player. It's just a decent burn spell getting two damage out right right away. You can burn their creatures, but most of the time you're going to be burning them, trying to get their life total really low so that you can easily sweep in with all your creatures and kill them next turn. I have it as a one of because it's not a great burn spell because it only deals two damage. So um, Next is one of the better creatures in the deck, Rakdos Shred Freak. It's a 2-1 haste for two. This is a great card for this deck on turn two, swinging with your other like Cacklers or Freakas Chosen and whatnot. It's just overall really good. It gets your devotion up for black, for Mogus's Marauder, which we'll talk about later. But overall, just a great creature that you can easily pump, and your opponents won't see this coming, especially since it has haste. I have it as a 4 of, as a great creature for this deck. You can easily pump it and sweep in for tons of damage. The next spell you'll see is Madcap Skills. It's a 2-mana two, two mana enchantment, and it gives enchanted creature plus 3 plus 0. It's a great spell for this deck. You can put it on your Rakdos Cacklers or your Shred Freaks and swing in for 5 damage that turn. Also, it's hard to block because it makes it so that they can only be blocked by 2 or more creatures, and generally your opponents won't have one. They might have one, but most likely they won't have any more than one creature out on the board by this point. You're generally going to want to play this like turn 3 or 4 as kind of an end game. It's a good win condition for this deck. 
and it's easy to get through with control decks because generally they're not going to have any creatures out yet, so you're going to be able to sweep, sweep in for the final damage. And I'm playing it as a 2 of in this deck. The next card you'll see is Skullcrack. It's a 2 mana and it deals 3 damage to target player. It's unfortunate that it doesn't deal it to the creatures, but generally you're only going to be dealing damage to the player trying to get their life total even closer to zero. Also, it's this ability that makes it so players can't gain life. It's really good for this deck, especially with the new Naya Hexproof decks emerging with Unflinching Courage. They're, it's going to prevent their life gain on turns 3 or 4, and then you're going to be able to just deal the final damage to the game and kill them off really quickly. I have it as a 2 of just because... It's generally not played a ton because there's only certain decks that have life gain or lifelink like I was talking about with the Night Hexproof. So overall you're not going to be playing this that much but it's still a great spell to have. The next burn spell you'll see is Lightning Strike. It's a pretty typical 2 mana burn spell that deals 3 damage to target creature or player. It's good for this deck but it's not great that's why I'm playing it as a 2 of. There's definitely better creatures and better spells that you can be playing. The next burn spell you'll see is Magma Jet. It only deals 2 damage for 2 mana, but it's the second ability that we're most concerned about. The Scrying 2 is just really good for this deck because if you can't draw your burn spells or your creatures that you need, then you're definitely going to lose the game, especially if you're playing a control deck, they'll bounce back and start controlling the game and dragging it out. You need to be able to scry into your draws in the next couple turns and make sure that you can win the game. I have it as a 2 of. Because of its ability, it's really good, but it only deals 2 damage, so... Up next, you'll see the card I was talking about earlier, Mogus's Marauder. It's the newest addition from Journey into Nyx. It's a 3 mana for a 2-2, two, two, but it's his ability that we're most concerned about. His ability is really good for this deck, giving all your creatures haste and intimidate equal to your devotion to black. This card is very good. It's Especially on turn 3 or 4, your devotion to black is going to be at least two or three, especially when you get this guy down, all your creatures are going to be able to swing unblockable due to intimidate, and the haste gets the extra 2-2 two, two out. You might be able to pump one of your creatures depending on how much mana you have available and what turn it is. This is a great win condition for this deck overall, that's why I'm playing it as a four of. The next card you'll see is a dual-sided card. It's from Dragon's Maze. It's called Toil and Trouble. We're going to be playing this mostly for the trouble ability, especially on turn 3. You're going to be able to deal at least 5 or 6 damage to your opponent, depending on what deck they're playing and how fast that deck is. But even so, 5 to 6 damage on turn 3 is just ridiculous. Gets them way closer to 0, and it's just a great card for this deck. The only thing is I'm playing it as a 2 of, just because if you're playing an aggro deck or Boros Burn or another deck like that, it's only going to be able to deal maybe 3 damage, so in that case it's 3 mana for 3 damage, which isn't very good, that's why it's a 2 of here. The last card you'll see, it's a creature, Rubble Belt Maka. We're really going to be only playing this for the Blood Rush ability. 4 mana for a 3-3 three, three without haste in this deck isn't very good. So we're going to be using this for the Blood Rush ability, especially on turns 2 or 3 to pump your creatures in addition to Titan Strength, giving them plus 3 plus 3. It's unstoppable just because your opponent's generally not going to have any blockers down, and taking the extra 3 damage in the early turns is just really good for this deck. That's why I have it as a 4 of. Thank you for watching. If you could please hit that like or subscribe button below and tell your friends about my channel, that would be much appreciated. Thank you.